Okay, I have a brand new patient here. We're gonna give you a fake name. How about uh, Jim? All right, Jim. That sounds good, Jim. Jim, you're okay with me videoing you? I am. Tell me why you haven't gotten your knee taken care of. I don't have insurance. Why don't you have insurance, Jim? It's the United States of America. We have Obamacare. It's the law. You have to have insurance. Oh, Obamacare is much crap. Why is it crap? Tell me. Well, when I went to go sign up at the open marketplace, the insurance plan that they gave me was, uh, even with a subsidy, $150 a month out of pocket, which I can't afford. Uh, the care that I was given, options were no copay on medical or doctor visits, no copay on prescriptions. Uh, I got uh, all that I was given was a $6,000 hospital deductible. Right. And, oh, I did get one free. Uh, physical year. One free physical year. Yeah. But uh, so in other words, I want to clarify. So you would have had to pay out of pocket for your office visits? Yeah. The subsidy, the way that it works is the subsidy would come back on my tax return. So even during the quarter of the year or the course of the year, I still have to pay monthly premiums. Oh. So I would have to pay what is it come really comes down to about like 15 percent of my net income for the privilege of spending you know 60 40 you know a large percentage of my income before i got any return on my investment so basically it didn't work no didn't, didn't work. work at all all right and so you're here as a new patient for this uh, you have a knee problem you can't afford to get repaired because you don't have the insurance and you know you need surgery right? yes all right, and you were seeing another clinic, and I don't use their name, but yeah. tell me what was going on over there. This is also interesting. Yeah, the uh, doctor said they would no longer prescribe my uh, prescription unless I got a fill at their pharmacy. So they own their farm. The doctor owns their pharmacy. Yes, it's a it's a collective. It's a yeah, yeah. So in other words, okay, we'll prescribe it for you as long as you agree to buy the medicine from yes. our pharmacy. You know that's illegal, right? Yes, that's highly illegal yeah. in the state of Texas. And uh, in fact, I may take that information from you, and uh, we may want to, you know, have that investigated because yeah. if they're doing that to other patients, that's that's just wrong. That's crap. All right. Well, listen. Thanks for sharing with us, Jim, and uh, we'll see if we can't fix you up today. Okay. I appreciate it. And, and I won't make you buy anything that for me at all. Sounds good. Well, hello, strange visitor. What's your name? <laughs> Hi. I was just feeling her neck. <laughs> This is my doctor. Jill's my <laughs> the doctor. Two Jills. I'm Jill. She's okay. Jill. She's my doctor. Um, I have a question for you from Marie Laveau. Yes. This is a spontaneous question in the hall. You ready? Is it true that eating five smaller meals and a couple of measured yes. snacks really works in revving the metabolism? It does for me. That's what I do. Is that your whole answer? That's my whole answer. It does for me? And a bag of Skinny Pop a day, but you have to do boot camp if you do Skinny Pop. <laughs> What's a burpee? She's so oh, I'm not doing it for you. Well, what is a burpee? You jump down, put your legs back, put your arms up, and you can come back up. Mama, I love your, your necklace. I love that top. I like the necklace. Thank you. Okay, coming soon to a YouTube video. I have eggs. Eggs. Look, it's Gonzo. Excuse oh, me. Oh, brother. <laughs>